Hi, what's up my single chats and toxic gamers? Twitter is a wild west right now. The internet is going off right now. There are a lot of suckers trying to cancel GTA 6 right now. They're asking for GTA 6 to be banned permanently. It's not even like a one minute ban or nothing like that. Oh, shit. They oh, want shit. the game Gonzo. Yeah, Gonzo, Fineto, Dunzo. So why is that happening? We're gonna get into the story. If you have an update to the story, I made a video yesterday on it. Like this video if GTA 6 shouldn't be banned. Bruh. Dislike the video if you're like, hey man, this game should be banned. It should be canceled. I, I want to know your take on it, but guys, you're not going to believe this. Check this. So this, what happened? We got the trailer, right? We saw the trailer. We were excited. Then we see coming 2025. I mean, come on, Rockstar. Why y'all suck is doing that? Then guess what? We were all like this. Sad. We saw Welcome to Leonardo, PlayStation 5. PC Master Race, there it goes. You're gonna get the entire recap, boys. We, we saw, like, a lot of... Uh, there was so much burna in that game, bro. So much ass in this game, bro. There's so much. Then you go on Twitter.com, something you should never do. And you see hashtag ban GTA 6. You click on it. You see Jackson Hill, Big Bang. We need to ban... I agree, children should not be playing this game, but this game is not for the children. It is for 17 and 18 plus, my god. I know, Bruh. crazy, crazy. Dog, there was absolutely no reason to compare this game with political stuff. It is absolutely sad as to what's happening in Palestine. Absolutely, hashtag stand with Palestine, 110%, but this game got none to do with that, dog. A list of games I have not played GTA 1, GTA 2, GTA 3, GTA 4, G... Tried but didn't like doing crime. Dog, GTA 5 bruh. required shooting police officers in the opening scene. Just couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, Elon Musk went crazy. And then this is Linda at, on Twitter, so... Clap it up for Linda. Linda, like, gaming is one of our most popular topics. Drop that trailer here. Give the people on X what they want. Bruh, Elon don't like it, though. That's why. And guess what? This is what happened right after, boys. Check this. Uh, developer's son. Uh, it's really way to describe this last week for rockstar games has been quite the roller coaster that's it the best been. way to describe it because originally we had a little bit a little snippet of gameplay leaked online from a supposedly a developer's Crazy. son uh, it's really insane and he did it for tiktok likes ladies and gentlemen just let that sink in he wanted some tiktok views he wanted tiktok likes i mean damn you're your daddy works at Rockstar Games, bruh. Bruh. You want him to be fired? Now, admittedly, though, he's like the Rockstar North head. So, like, he's at the top, right? It, they're probably not gonna fire that guy. The the kid is probably gonna get a kiss on the cheek, probably a bagel, and a, a, a good night spank. That's it. That's simply what it is, okay? GTA 6 TikTok leak has come from the son of our Rockstar Games employee. My uncle works at Rockstar. <laughs> Yo, can you believe it though? Can you believe it that the entire my dad works at Rockstar Games actually came true though? I mean, holy F, bruh. Holy A. How that whole ordeal happened, but Damn. it seems like his son's yeah. friends had a connection with this Rockstar yeah. Games developer who just happens to be the head at Rockstar North or a co-head. And I guess they he may have been showing them snippets of the game. And unfortunately, you just can't trust teenagers. We talked extensively about that in the video. Uh, we all thought maybe Rockstar would go into... Te uh, teenagers watching this video be like this. So you don't trust me, legacy killer? I'm not gonna subscribe right now. I'm not gonna drop a like on the video. Now, guys, drop a like, subscribe right now. He's telling the truth. He's Panic mode, the they truth. would start to delete some uh, some of these videos, DMCA it. They kind of did nothing. And I think that was more so, it was just, it's only a 10 second video. Who cares? It just yeah. shows a little overview of Vice City. The big reveal is just a couple of days away. And that's what we were waiting for. Then it went to YouTube. We saw the countdown began on YouTube. And then people started to mine or data mine the metadata and 
found that oh, it was only a 90 second video, yeah. which is kind of the given with these Grand Theft Auto 6. Uh, I'm Grand shocked that it was. it is 91 seconds long and we didn't just get the logo reveal, right? Because initially I was like, hey man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a mobile, obviously it was uh, jokes, but it's uh, it's gonna be a mobile game. You know, like suckers were paranoid, suckers were like, hey, it's gonna be GTA 5 DLC, GTA 5 DLC, GTA only DLC, it's gonna, uh, we're not gonna see the Burna, the Burna is gonna be nerfed and guess what? We saw so much Burna in this one. This is like, get, get to stand, bruh. Like change the name of the, the city to get to stand, bruh. Like, I, I swear to God, man, look at that. Damn, bruh. There is a whole lot of haram in it too, though. But this game is 17 plus, 18 plus, though. I do agree children shouldn't be playing, but like, children's be like this. Children's be like this right now. They be like, hey, yo, what you, what you saying right now, bruh? Try convincing your parents right now. Try, I mean, I mean, it's the parents, like, honestly, though, memes aside, it's the parents' job right now to watch what their kids are watching online, what they're viewing, what they're consuming, what they're doing, right? And it's your job to simply not buy them the game or buy them the game. It's your job. I, I don't blame the kids uh, right now uh, because this game is definitely not for the kids. 110% not for the Grand kids. Grand Theft Auto, Rockstar videos in general, all of them are very, very short. And uh, that's when people started to get extremely excited still. The people were starting to hunt down the trailer and then just bump bam social media got hit with the trailer it leaked online with a bitcoin logo Crazy, on man. it and immediately rockstar had to do it they just they couldn't let the 144p be a representation of the game uh, yeah it, because uh, like right after the trailer leaked out you're not gonna believe this there were so many seconds they were like the trailer is whack bro it's not looking good bro i saw a lot of tweets and bruh i mean it was 144p guys uh, there was like a big buy bitcoin in the middle of it i skimmed through it and i watched the end i was like hey man the logo is real i wanted to just make sure it's a real video right then i made a video on it i was like guys it is happening the leak trailer i made a video on the leak trailer and as i was uploading that video i uploaded the video i saw a tweet guys where some people were saying yo rockstar is premiering i was like bruh like bruh, bruh like i just uploaded that leak <laughs> I just uploaded a video about the trailer leaking out. Wait till tomorrow. Now I gotta check it out. I recorded that reaction deadass for the trailer. I was really excited though. Still, I'm excited for the game. Don't get me wrong. I mean, these are first world problems right now that I'm explaining to y'all. But, but, but you gotta understand this, okay? I uploaded that. I was like, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Then I was excited that I didn't watch the leak trailer and I'm gonna watch the actual thing for the first time while only knowing the release date that I was spo uh, I spoiled myself with. Bruh. I watch it, upload it, it gets cock blocked by Rockstar Games because they had that auto copyright block thing and trailer gets shot down. Trailer's blocked, nobody can watch it. Then I was like, okay, Brad, like I gotta slow it down, watch it in slow mode though. It looked crappy because of the fact that it wasn't a high definition version. At least to me, it looked amazing, but to some, it looked underwhelming. But once you see it in that beautiful 4K quality, as we have right here, I mean, it looks stunning in so many different ways. Uh, you've heard me gushing in multiple yeah. videos now. Damn, Legacy Killer is looking like a toxic gamer just like us. Every time I see it, I, I cannot help but say it though. Yeah. Like you got that neck beard though. He's he's a toxic gamer just like us, guys. Like the video for toxic gamers, boys. How about all of the, the details, the character models, the animations, uh, the innovative technology, which is clearly on yeah. display. You can see some of the Red Dead Redemption 2 effects yeah. here. They so even had opera there. <laughs> They had opera. Now it's not, but you know, it looks like her. Which is the volumetric cloud. You see some ray tracing effects. And again, you get that narrative tease that I'm honestly... There really... are also like rumors that uh, Lucy is like a transformer though. You see some ray tracing. Like, like game. Y'all think she a transformer? Hopefully not. Hopefully this game is not woke to that point, though. It's probably going to be a little bit woke, but, but like, damn, you feel what I'm saying? Yes? Bonnie and Clyde theme. I'm really excited to see yeah. how all this turns out. And yes, for those concerned that Rockstar was going to, I guess, not commit to the Florida Man theme, they certainly did. They're not holding back. And I don't know necessarily what the concern was that they change your game's name to Get the Stand or GTA Get the Stand or GTA Bunda Edition Six or something like that. Rockstar they weren't going to have stuff like this in the game. It very much is here. They understand what Grand Theft Auto is and they understand what it needs to be to be successful. Now I think they understand it way too well right now, bro. What's amazing about this trailer 
it's been up for 11 hours just on YouTube alone. It has 54 and yeah, million. Pe people are asking for a hashtag Bay GTA 6 right now. People, especially uh, Jackson Hinkle. And this post made 22k likes. By the time you're watching, easily gonna be way more than that. Now, listen, I do agree with the sentiment that this they are releasing a highly dopamine video game, right? I cannot say certain words here, guys. Bruh. I do agree with the sentiment. This game is definitely not for children. I, If I had kids, I wouldn't feel comfortable buying them this game. That's my opinion. That's me. You do not have to agree. And I don't have to force my belief on other people either, though, right? You, you feel what I'm saying? So that part I agree with. Agree with. But you guys, you got to understand that this game is going to be for mature, uh, rated mature. I, I guess I, I would be no nah, I would definitely be like with the with the gamers I would be taking my I would be on my with my controller with my pitch and forks I would be ready to go on our war uh, if had it been that they they rated this game 12 plus 13 plus and they were actually marketing this game for the kids though now I do agree that there will be kids that are gonna play this game but listen man I remember playing GTA San Andreas as like uh, 12 or 13 year old and as 27 I'm telling people like guys uh, chase your dreams don't chase the burnado don't chase the pom pom chase your dreams though so I'm having like a positive take I obviously not everybody's gonna turn out like that not everybody's gonna be turning out bad or good it depends though it depends at the end of the day it's the parents job to uh t tell their kids what's right and what's wrong and uh just hope for the best and that's uh simple as that right because uh, and don't chase the pom pom though I always teach them don't chase the pom pom so this is uh what's happening guys games getting canceled right now though in views i think the record on youtube right now for a video it's like a hundred million right video now. i think that was a hundred million this is probably going to surpass it especially once people start waking up from europe and they start to see holy crap yeah. this video went up last night yeah <laughs> uh, just I, truly I had that. truly remarkable this whole situation i saw as you can tweets. see 6.7 million likes to only 190 but let's talk about the Locker, devs. developer at naughty dog saying there was a collective sigh of relief from many developers when they revealed it's coming out 2025 right. imagine trying to drop up up your upcoming game in 2024 alongside gta 6 yeah. and ultimately the big thing about this game is that every single developer every single publisher is going to steer clear of this yeah. behemoth of a release yeah. even with red dead redemption 2 we had like you there's a whole lot of distortion in his mic i believe that he's like very very close to his microphone like that dog ubisoft and activision commenting how they didn't want to release right next to it but grand theft auto that is a whole different beast especially coming off one of the biggest well literally the biggest game almost of all time in this industry with grand theft auto 5 the follow-up dog i am positive though the once they confirm the release date if there are like other games that have confirmed the release date, for example, right, like we're all expecting GTA 6 to be March, some are expecting October or September 2025, it can surely be delayed to that point, but they officially did say fiscal year 2025, and that ends on March 2025, so I guess we're expecting the game to release in March of 2025, I really hope it comes out by March. Man, two years away it would be painful, dog. And this game comes out in September of 2025 or October. That wait is gonna be really, really painful. I hope for March release. Like the video if you agree. But if this game really comes out, like let's just say September or October of 2025, so many other games and publishers would panic. They will just either release their game early, like Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and then you know, then you know, right? Like blue screen, the game was crashing big time. It was crashing PlayStation. Uh, crashing Xboxes as well. We all saw Bruh. what happened with the blue screens, right? So they did release that game a month early because of Red Dead Redemption 2 and so many other game publishers were panicking and guess what? That was Red Dead Redemption 2! That game isn't even big. It's big. It's massive. It's a beloved franchise. Not saying that. Uh, not disrespecting the fiends out there or anything like that, but GTA is a completely different beast though. GTA 6, this game is gonna be crazy, man. It, 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 a lot of, I, I feel like the Sega is gonna, don't, if, you, if you're if you a publisher, don't release your game uh, within the two months uh, span of GTA 6. You guys gotta change it up. I'm pretty sure Treyarch is happy right now because they got a new Call of Duty coming out in 2024. Yeah. Kind of anticipating that game, kind of a, a little bit intrigued to see zombies in that game personally, but you know, I, I hope that they do not ruin that Call of Duty game, though. Just stay away for a couple of months, honestly. Two now, months minimum. Ultimately, this whole situation, the fact that the trailer leaked ahead of time, there's just been 
some disappointment and some anger coming from Rockstar Games and yeah. the, the development team <laughs> behind this because a lot of them just wanted to see this through. Yeah. They wanted that 9 a.m. reveal to happen and it seems like... Yeah, it, it is sad though. It's genuinely sad for those people because they definitely had plans. Even I, I mean, as a, as a YouTuber, I, I was like, hey, I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna wake up early. I'm gonna stream the reveal. Uh, yeah, we lost that. We we lost that entire like the the vibe of waiting for it and watching it together. Yeah, that that's like over right now. So they had to release it early. I mean, no complaints though. But I I wish that I was able to stream in the morning and whatnot. But at least I didn't have to wake up early. So there's that. Like just none of this really has gone according to plan. But maybe that is just the nature of the internet nowadays and how nothing really can be secretive. But uh, we did have this article coming from PC Gamer. Rockstar developers react to Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer leak. This effing sucks. Yeah, Again, yeah, yeah. you can understand the perspective. These guys have been working on this game for years. It yeah. was in pre-production for like around 10 or so years. When this game was the... Is, is that game that even the aliens didn't see, guys. Even the aliens didn't see this game. Nobody knew. I mean, we didn't even know. Like, we were... Obviously, we knew it's like Vice City. Had it been that the gameplay didn't leak, we still knew it was Vice City though, but it was like 50-50, right? Like, hey, is it really gonna be Vice City? Seconds were not believing it, seconds were calling it clickbait, seconds were calling it fake news, uh, and everything like that. And even after that gameplay leak out that uh, that happened in September of 2022, it's it's been such a long time. It's crazy, crazy, wow, crazy. September 2022. Gameplay leaked out, and after uh, after that, everybody started believing that, yup, it is the, the game is real, it is Vice City, it is happening, it is happening. Uh, but even then, it's like, I still, I remember seeing tweets and Suggs were like, nah, that's fake, bruh, it's not Vice City, bro, nobody knows where it's gonna be, bro. So Suggs didn't want to believe that this game was so secretive that it, it leaked out out of nowhere, after years and years of wait, after years and years of crying and moaning from the fans uh, asking for the game, rightfully so, nobody knew this game exists. I mean, we knew, but but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, we were just like, <laughs> is it happening? When is it gonna happen? This game was, this project was so secretive. Gameplay leaks out, then, you know, a couple of days ago, uh, map overview leaks out, trailer leaks out! We didn't even knew if they were gonna call it GTA 6. We're, we were calling it GTA 6 because, you know, it's a way to say it's a new game. Uh, and even if they called it Grand Theft Auto Bunda Edition or something like that, Bruh. we would have still called it GTA 6 in a way as well. But I'm glad that they confirmed the name, uh, the logo as well. But it was, uh, it was, this game was very, very secretive into full development right around Red Dead Redemption 2's release. And a lot of this work has leaked over the last year. I mean, I don't think many of us would have uh, accepted the truth that an hour's worth of Grand Theft Auto 6 development gameplay footage leaked before the official reveal even crazy, happened. Man. That's crazy to me, mm. especially because of Rockstar's reputation of being so secretive. Yeah. And it's just been a leaky fountain the last couple of years with this company, especially in relation to Grand Theft Auto. Listen, I don't mind the leaks, quite frankly. I love the leaks. I love the uh, that we actually had the leak. It created a lot of hype. It sucks for the devs that I 100% and agree with also but the two leaks that happened in the last two days or last not two days but few days right now by the time you're watching Bruh. um i don't agree with them though i don't mind the leaks i feel like that now that the trailer is out maybe a month from now we can get a trailer uh, we, we can get like some small gameplay leak okay <laughs> we can get some leaks that i'm cool with information leaks that i'm cool with it creates the hype it keeps the game relevant keeps people talking about it we have something to look forward to you feel what i'm saying but the game was about to be revealed though and just a couple of hours before the entire trailer leaks out i didn't mind that 12 second like Y city gameplay map overview leak from that rockstar head it created a lot more hype and a lot more anticipation to watch that trailer that i didn't mind but i wish that also didn't happen though and especially that the trailer leak that happened i wish that didn't happen because uh, th th then it would have been just a lot more hype so it definitely ruined the, the plans uh even though i as somebody that covers the leaks uh the confirmed news the rumors the leaks i love it on top but 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 i do agree that it, it, it this time it, it shouldn't have though it shouldn't have of Dotto 6. But maybe, maybe that's just a reflection on the, the anticipation behind this game. Now, as you see, Rockstar's hand was forced. They had to reveal the trailer. They just went ahead because they didn't want people seeing the crappy uh, 
the crappy footage and the leakers account was suspended but rather than let that pixelated partially obscured version of the trailer circulate for the next 12, next hours, 12 hours rockstar went ahead and posted the trailer yeah and then we had developers react do you think that they've done a good thing releasing the trailer early Be because yeah right there was the entire reason they released it early i think is because a lot of people were saying and trust me when i say this even i seen those tweets where sega saw that leak trailer and they were like that trailer's whack bro that trailer don't look good bro GTA 6 finna suck, bro. It's not good, bruh. Like, I was seeing that. I'm like, damn, bro, it's a leaked trailer, bruh. Like, let's wait, to, let's wait till tomorrow. So, in that aspect, yeah, Rockstar did a good thing releasing the trailer early. But had it been they didn't release it, then the internet would have been going wild, though. Like, everybody would be like, yo, trailer leak, trailer leak. Let's watch the trailer leak. <laughs> let's watch the trailer leak. And I guess the actual reveal event would have lost a little bit of hype or maybe it would have created a lot more hype i mean now we're never gonna know what would have been the outcome but i think it either would have i think it would have been two scenarios right for some it would have created a lot more hype and for some it would be like yo man we gotta like dead ass gotta wake up watch that trailer exactly at 9 a.m i'm not i'm not missing this okay i'm gonna call it quits i'm gonna call it off uh, off work and other would be like, man, the trailer's wag, bruh. Like, I'm just gonna watch it whenever I wake up. And if it's good, it's good. Otherwise, I mean, get mama, right? Like, it, it's gonna be, it's one of those things. But they were like, nah, bruh, we are gonna release that. We're gonna release the trailer. We're gonna release the trailer. And releasing the trailer is what they did. Javier Altman, uh, Rockstar Senior Gameplay Animator, saying, This effing sucks. I was hoping to watch this for the first time along with my fellow teammates and coworkers. I feel we deserved that moment. Yeah. Another I agree, developer, I agree, I agree gameplay, or graphics programmer, Angel Ortiz, saying, I'm actually not going to watch this until I'm in the office with the people I made this with and who work so effing hard to make it happen. Damn. Uh, another developer saying, or Rockstar Senior Programmer, Connor, saying, effing seriously. Yikes. Uh, sorry for the rage, but the trailer leak is just so disheartening. I was really looking forward to watching the premiere with every... Yeah, th this is one of those things, right? Like, I I'm sure, like, they also didn't want the gameplay leaking out or that map overview video that leaked out just three, four days ago, uh, 12 seconds. They, they probably didn't mind too much with that, right? But the trailer leak is, is something that was, uh, yeah, uh, you know, it was, I, I can understand that. I wish it didn't happen either, but now the cat is out of the bag. I mean, it's been a day plus, two days plus. Damn, man, time flies, bro. Can a brother be in 2025 right now? I want to play this game, right? Everyone, a lot of people here. Uh, development operations director Alex Manish, he, again, has that, that emoji. You can understand the anger coming from this tweet. Another senior gameplay designer saying, enjoy, folks. Would have been nice to do this all with all of you at the same time. Yeah. And then we did see, again, all over social media, Rockstar Games developers, they're very pissed that this got out early and they were forced, their hand was forced, and they had to pretty much put the, the version yeah. up ahead of time. But there's also... But guys, we also had 250-plus gameplay leaks, official stuff, the trailer breakdown, reactions, good takes, bad takes, a lot of bunas, a lot of asses. Click on this Bruh. video on the screen, check out the leaks walkthrough and the entire breakdown of the trailer and the gameplay. Click on this video and I will see you right there. It's a massive video, folks. Check it out and I'll see you right there.